right, guys. Thanks for watching, and thank you for being so patient. I'm sorry I haven't put out another video, but it's just really hard with my really crazy schedule to record. But hopefully I'll be putting out more videos now because I have a little bit better of recording equipment. Um, so today I'm bringing you a flat iron curl tutorial. Um, and before I start, I just want to talk about a couple things, a couple rules when you're flat iron curling. Um, one of the things is your section size. Make sure they're not too big and not too small, but just right. Channel some Goldilocks right there. Um, so if your sections are too small, you're going to get too tiny of a curl. And if they're too big, then the curl will fall off of the plate, which you'll see. I end up doing that in this video and you'll see that I correct myself and just divide that little section in half. Um, another thing is think of when you are ribboning, um, the little ribbons on the end of balloons, how they are kind of curly. If you've ever done that before, you know, you open up the scissors and you sort of do like a 180 and pull it straight through and you get little curls. It's the same exact concept, except you're doing it on hair. So what you want to do is you want to take your sectioning and make sure, like I said, they're not too big, not too small. Make sure your hair is tangle free because you don't want any anything to stop the flat iron from pulling um, through smoothly. I always like to go in with the flat iron overhand. I see a lot of stylists that go underhand with it, meaning that the end of the flat iron is where the cord is, is down instead of up. For me, this is more comfortable. As you can see, I slowed it down a little bit so that way you can really see the detail of how I do um, how I put my flat iron in and start twisting. Um, when I get to the other side, I like to flip the curls all away from the face, or you can do it all towards the face, personal preference. I personally like the curls away from the face. Um, another thing too is that I don't take the flat iron and I and keep twirling it and twirling it and twirling it for the curl. I just do a nice quick 180 and just pull it through. The slower you pull, the tighter the curl, the faster you pull, the looser the curl. On this particular client, I'm going a bit slower so I create a tighter curl because her hair is really thick and really heavy. And my outcome, I want it to be is really soft and wavy, which you'll see at the end when I show you the final results. Um, when you brush out the curl, it's gonna be really, really soft. So don't be scared to do them a little extra tight, especially on somebody with extra thick hair. So here's what I was just talking about, about my sections being too big. So you can see there, if you have a too large section, the hair's just gonna fall right out of the plate. So don't get frustrated. Just make a smaller section and keep it moving. So now we're getting ready to flip the hair going away from the face coming from the other side. So I slowed that down for you too. So as you can see, I do the exact same technique except I'm going in the other direction so the tail of the hair will be closest to my hand that's holding the flat iron, if that makes sense. Obviously it's a lot easier to watch than it is for me to explain. So feel free to replay that part over and over if you want to or if you'd like me to break it down some more, let me know in the comments. Just keep watching. I'm gonna speed it up here in a minute so that way we kind of get through it. And if you have any questions or anything about my technique or what products I'm using or anything like that, please leave them down below. I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Enjoy, thank you.
right, you guys, and here's the result. So like I said, a super soft, beautiful wave. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on Instagram at lovehairbyrose. Thank you so much.